And to the power sector, workers of the Transmission Company of Nigeria have renewed their call for a review of the privatization process of the electricity sector. Now, they, however, commend that the agency's management for relieving a former general manager of his duties two years after the expiration of his political office. Joke Adisa reports. Years after government privatized the electricity sector, the entire process is still raising a lot of controversy. In the last eight years, more than one trillion naira has been expended on the sector by succeeding administrations. At this forum, these aggrieved workers expressed their displeasure over the processes leading to the unbundling of the power holding company of Nigeria and by extension, Nigeria's electricity sector. They say the entire process was flawed with corruption. The companies were sold to their cronies and friends that don't have idea of how to move the power sector forward. So our position still remains that the privatization, they have to review it. It's 40, the foundation is sandy, and it needs urgent review. When this entity was sold to them, they came begging and crying that they needed intervention. The government gave them intervention, 132 billion. After that, they still came back and requested for another intervention through the MBEN. So for how long will the government continue to give them intervention? And Nigerians are crying. Away from management and the workers' face off, these workers commend the drive of the current management at eliminating graft from the system. They say the management has been sensitive to the welfare of workers and the streamlining of the procurement process. The workers also point out areas that need improvement. We need to stem it, bring it to a stop. We might not completely eradicate the, all the corrupt practices. You see some enemies being created here and there, fighting the mama management. It's just because the way they used to do it in, before, that is no longer what they are, what they are doing now. The workers applaud the management of the company for demonstrating the will to put an end to the tenure of a former general manager whose tenure they say lapsed since June 2018. Joker TVC News, Abuja. And joining me on the news this hour is the President General, Senior Staff Association of Electricity and Allied Companies, Chris Okonkwo, to discuss the allegations of corruption. Good to have you join us, Chris Okonkwo, this hour. Now, a memo was issued Thank to you. Thank you very you, much. A memo was issued to you on April 24, 2020, uh, by the Managing Director, TCN, Usman Mohammed, telling you that your posting to the transmission company has elapsed, but you have vowed not to leave. So help us understand um, what is actually playing out at the TCN with regards to your appointment. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think it's a, it's a case of high class ignorance that a managing director of a parastethal will undo what the Ministry of Power did. That is not correct. He, he's just testing the waters because he doesn't seem to know what he's supposed to do. No, no MD can sack a general manager in Transmission Company of Nigeria. In fact, the minister who is presenting the board will have to do that through due process. So who is the MD to say he has sacked a, a, a general manager of seven years? So that is, that is very erroneous. And I think he's highly mischievous. And I can tell you, I have documents, documents that will show that he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. So I, 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 wait, I wait to see him enforce such illegality. All right, so you, you say you have documents to, to show, but has your tenure expired? What is the content of your appointment? How long are you supposed to be there for? Thank you, thank you. I have no tenure that will expire. As a public servant, I am subject to 35 years of service and 60 years of age. The letter I have here is letter of promotion and posting and has nothing to do with tenure. On the contrary, it is a political appointee like the MD that has a tenured appointment. So I am a career person. 
he is only expressing his wish, wish that I left my, my position as general manager just as he wished I left my position as president general of Senior Staff Association of Religion Allied Companies. He has no such power. He has no knowledge to understand that he cannot do that, yes. All right, so, but he, he's not the only one who is speaking. Um, there have been a protest by members of your union, the SAAESC, and the National Union of Electricity Employees, and they say you must not be seen around the TCN premises. Uh, what's your next line of action? Thank you. First of all is that, who are they to say I cannot go to my office? Two, these are sponsored people, sponsored people that he has been nurturing, that he's using to do all the atrocities he's doing in TCN. He has like a, a militia he's using. He penetrated my union to get some disgruntled people. He's sponsoring against my union. He's now working in league with the junior union, National Union of Electric Employees, who are also disgruntled that what they were doing to the senior staff union has been stopped by Ministry of Labor, which is they have been stealing the revenue source to the senior staff union, which Ministry of Labor, Register of Trade Union, issued its classification recently. So they are disgruntled people who are aligning with somebody who is unfortunately rascally, and he doesn't seem to know or have the character befitting of somebody of that position. There is no, nothing whatsoever. And I tell you, he's just testing the waters. As I'm talking to you now, he has listed about 20, 20 assistant general managers and general managers he wants to sack. And he doesn't have the power. He has not got the approval of the Minister of Power or Minister of Power. So he's somebody that is very arbitrary. And he seems to be full of impunity. He can't go anywhere with this, I can assure you. He's just testing the waters. If this one goes, he will try others. All and right. he cannot. Meanwhile, um, he has enslaved workers workers a lot in the past. Chris Okonkwa, I, I wish we could go on with this, but that's the much we can take on this conversation. President General, Senior Staff Association of Electricity and Allied Companies, Chris Okonkwa, many thanks for talking to TVC News.